welcome to its Rafiq. This video is for class 9. You know that uh, class 9 annual exam is going to start from the month of February and I think on third practical exam. So what you will see for the practical exam? Practical exam main syllabus is MS Access database and C programming. And on the question paper there will be three questions. One from MS Access database, there will be 10 marks and two C programs. One program will contain seven marks, another program will contain eight marks and five marks viva or oral. So total 30 marks. Now what you will see for MS Access. For MS Access, you have to learn how to create a database, blank database and how to create a table inside that database using design view. And also after creating the table, enter some data like five records like that so this i already discussed in other video how to do this again if you required i can make it another video now for c programming i have uh, given here some simple programs which is very important for your practical exam you can practice this program and i'm sure that definitely you will get some common question from here like uh, first one write a C program to print your name and class in separate line write a C program to print your name and school name in same line write a C program to find the area of a triangle area of a rectangle area of circle then find the average of three integers check if a number is odd or even check if a number is divisible by five or not or it may be any other number three or not and Find the greatest number among three given numbers and check if a number is positive or negative. These are some common questions which may come in your practical examination. <coughs> so you can practice these questions. Now how you will do the C program? In your com school computer definitely there will be code block or any C compiler. You will open that and at your home if you do not have a computer you can download the app coding in C there you can practice the program now I will show you how you can practice the program in code blocks first you will have to open the code block for that you click on the start menu on the search box you write code blocks then code block will appear open that app it will take little time for the first time So take patience after opening this screen you will click on the file menu as you can see here on the file menu we click and click on new after clicking on clicking on new click on empty file then this file will appear after that you come down to the status bar there you will see plain text is written click there and Select the languages C and C++. After selecting, suppose I am doing the first program which I have given here. Write a C program to print your name and class in separate line. So first we will have to write the header file. So we will write include. Then bracket. That bracket is angular bracket. After the bracket no space together we will write s t d i o dot h the spelling is s t d means standard i o input output not studio many of you do this mistake so be careful here then go to next line here at the main function i and t one space then main then bracket open and close this is simple bracket now come to the next line Here open add curly braces this one bracket the closing one come automatically do not remove it it is required now write print f statement in print f it is together not like that print and f separately don't write like this way it is together after that simple bracket and put double inverted comma then here you write like my name is then your name like x y z 
After that, you will put slash. That slash is in forward direction. Remember that. After that, and that means to add a new line. After that, semicolon. Then go to next line. Again, print it. There you write I read in class nine. After that, inverted comma close. Then semicolon. And at the last line, you write return zero. Return one space then zero. Don't write O. Now you see when you write return zero, the zero color change to purple. But if I write O, it comes in black. So by that only you will know that you are writing wrong one. And if I write return zero together, the return zero color will change to black. So it should be always in blue because it is a keyword. So return zero, then semicolon. After doing that, you will save the file. For that, you will go to file, save, and you will give a name, a name for your file. Suppose I am giving name is practical, and you will choose the location where you want to uh, where you want to save. I am selecting as desktop, and save as type by default it comes as C C plus plus. Do not change it, and click on save. So the file is saved. Now to get the output, you will come here build menu. And here you will get one option: build and run, or you can use shortcut key F9. So I'm clicking build and run. If there is no mistake, I will get the output. So I'm getting the output here. My name is X Y Z. I read in class nine. Now the next question: Write a C program to print your name and your school name in same line. In this previous program, we have printed both the line in same line, but in next program, we have to print the things in one line only. So what we will do? That uh, this part will be exactly same in each program. This is the foundation of the program. So this part is necessary for each program. Only middle part we are going to change. So here we have to print the name and school name in same line. So we will write print. F. Then in bracket, with an inverted comma, we'll write like my name is X Y Z, and I read in. Sorry, I study in the school name. Suppose school name is A B C. <coughs> so this way, what happened? Both the things came together. Then we will click on this because we already saved the file. <coughs> we will click on this to get the output. Now one question more be like that why only print your name and school name. In separate line by using a single printf statement means we are going to use printf one time only, but we have to print both the line in separate line. At that moment, what we will do here, which line we have to print in separate line? There we'll add slash n, like my name is X Y Z. After that slash n, I study in A B C. Now you'll see both the line will appear in separate line. As you can see on the output, so this way we can do it. Now we'll come to question number three. Write a C program to find the area of a triangle. Their area of a triangle, area of a rectangle, area of a circle. They are quite similar. Just you have to know the formula. Now <coughs> we'll take a new file. For taking new file, we'll click on File, New, Empty File. File New, then Empty File. And similar way, we are going to change the language into C, C++. And after that, we are going to add the header file like include stdio.h. 
after that main function so main int main then bracket now here we have to declare some variable where we are going to store some numbers now to find the area of a triangle we need our formula is like then area equal to half into height into base so we need a variable to store the area to store the height and to store the base and height and base we will take from the user so we will take the data type as float because the number might be in decimal that's why we are taking as float so I, we are writing float then first height h e i g h t height then base then area <coughs> and in area we will also give the initial value as 0, point, point 0 means we thought that the area is 0 now we will take the height and base from the user for that we will write printf statement and here we will write a message like enter the height then semicolon and here scanf statement to read the input here we will write percentage f f because we are our data type is float if we take integer then instead of f we will write d so remember that and we are going to store it is inside the variable height after that semicolon and this same line will repeat once more like printf there we'll write enter base and after this scanf statement and there we will write again percentage f now the variable will be base and person symbol is necessary then base semicolon now we'll calculate the area so we will write area equal we can write half 1 by 2 or we can also write 0 0.5 it's your wish how you will write or we can also do divide 2 so <coughs> we can write this way inside bracket height into base divide 2 that means half into height into base or also we can write 0 0.5 into height into base then semicolon after that we will have to print the value of area so print f statement there we will write the area is percentage f and the value of f is area now semicolon and the last line is return 0 so this is the complete program now similar way we will save the file we will give a file name let, let, uh, let the file name be area and saved now we will have to compile the program for that we will go to build menu then build and run now while we execute the program it will ask us the height let it be 5 and base let it be 10 and the area is 25 so this way how 25 say it's half into height into base no so 5 into 10 it's 50 50 half is 25 so we are getting the area is 25 now let's find out how to find the area of a rectangle in rectangle formula is l into b means length into breadth so we will need two variable here instead of height we will write le and g t x length and breadth And also here in scanf instead of height length and 
in their bread. And the formula will be only land into bread. So we will cut this formula and write land into bread. So done. Now let's see whether the program work or not. We can also click on this icon which is a green triangle and a yellow color setting icon. So asking me the height, let it be 4.5 and base let it be 4 so the area is 18 so this way we can calculate the area of a rectangle now circle the circle formula is pi r square that means we have to take only radius from the user so we will cut all the programs we will write it again we will take the variable as float radius for radius r and we will have a variable pi and we will give the number is 0. Point, sorry 3.14 which is the value of pi and also we will write area equal 0, 0.0 now we are taking we will have to take the input of r so print f statement there we will write enter radius then we will have to scan the radius so scan f statement there we will write percentage f as our data type is float that's why f then here write r the variable is r that's why it is r and m person symbol is required before r now we will write the formula so area equal pi into r into r r square that's why r multiplying two times now we will print the value of area so print it the area is percentage f and the variable is area after that semicolon then return zero so this program done first now let's compile the program to get the output now asking me radius let the radius be 21 so the area is 1384.73 so this way we can calculate the area of rectangle triangle and circle also for a square we can do this way only like we need only side and area after that the formula will write side into side so this way we can do the program to find the area of any shapes in C programming and the remaining program we will discuss in the next video like uh, to find the average of three integers to find if a number is odd even this we are going to discuss in next video so thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye